Hello everyone, and welcome to one more Howler for an Hour for this late night stream I've been doing. This is Card Corruptors. This is a furry game that I was uh, given a direct uh, early access uh, demo thingy key to uh, by uh, Captain Fuzz, developer Fuzz Force. Uh, they, they were just like, hey, you're a furry streamer, I'm a furry developer, you want to check this out? And I was like, yeah, sure, let's check it out. So this is a uh, turn-based deck builder where your turns aren't guaranteed. You gotta race to take the offensive and act before the enemy to like break their ability to attack. So it's like an interrupt break sort of card game thing. I think it's also kind of roguelike structure. Not really sure, but uh, yeah. So roguelike deck builder where you try to interrupt the opponent and they try to interrupt you. So seems like a pretty interesting concept and also furry animal characters. So hey, win-win, right? Anyways, before I begin, of course, if you like the video, do think about giving a like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, come over to Twitch. We're trying to reach a partner over here, but we need reviewers to do it. So if you want to come by, whether it's a lurk or to talk, think about doing it, because it really does help. It makes a world of difference. Also, we have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. And if you want to monetize my content with a bit of extra swag on the on, on the docket, go check out my Streamlabs merch store, where you can see a whole bunch of cool Shadox merch. All links are in the description, so check them out at your leisure. Now, with that being said, uh, let's let's start the demo. Let's see where this goes. I do apologize to Captain Fuzz. I was mean to cover this during this first release week for uh, Car Interrupters because I think it was what do we say? Because uh, it hasn't it hasn't released on Steam, but it just released its Steam page and it can now be wishlisted. Uh, there was a specific window of time that Captain Fuzz hoped I would uh, cover the game it, basically last week um, because it just launched that. But I could still, of course, recommend everyone go check out the Steam page. It is also linked in the description uh, and you can go wishlist it if you are interested in the game. But let's go check it out. Okay, so we. This is weird. Okay, so it's 3D movement, but... Oh. 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 Wait. This game doesn't have control... Okay, so I think um, some Unity games... I think this is Unity. Some Unity games have basic controller support, even when the developer doesn't enable it. And what I mean by that is, I've run into a lot of games that don't support controllers, but when you try to move the left analog stick of a controller, it'll still move the character around in the game. But that's all you get, and the menu buttons, the uh, face buttons, they don't do anything. So, uh, this game does not allow for that, so we'll just use the keyboard. Kind of weird that it's keyboard-based for the moment. I'm sure it'll add controller support later. It's kind of weird that it started out keyboard-based, though, if we have 3D movement. But, uh, I guess here's our deck. Alright. Pretty small deck. Charms. Cards. So, we have whack, 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 whack shield. So, we have three whacks for four damage, three shields for four armor. And two flames for three damage and three burn. Okay. I guess that's like our special attack. And we can see how long the cards interrupt the opponent. I assume that we interrupt the opponent for 1.75 seconds for whack. Uh, 1.25 seconds for shell. So it looks like even defensive cards will interrupt the opponent. And then flame interrupts 1.25. So whack is the best interrupt for the moment. Alright. Uh, what else we got in F4? That's just our, that's just our usual options. Okay. Um, Alright. So I turn these over. And I find a car. Hello. Ah, it's a. It's that. Is that a? Is that a ferret? Is that a ferret? That's pretty cute. Look at the ferret. The sunglasses. The pop. The beans. I will say, uh, Captain Fuzz, if you do watch this video, because I feel like you will. I I noticed from from just the screenshots alone that you made some really cute models. So I'm I'm happy to see these. <laughs> they interrupt for the opponent or yourself. Both. There's interrupts both directions. It's whoever attacks first gets to decide the interrupts. I, I don't know how this will balance out, but we'll see. I have three coins. How much do these cost? Do blacksmith. Oh, same guy. He's just now going to blacksmith. Oh, we can upgrade them. Interesting. Huh. Oh! Yeah, okay. That seems pretty good. Oh, wait. Hold on. Whack S. Whack... Wait. Wait, I don't understand. Whack S? Wha wait, hold on. So if I take the whack card, I could either make it... Oh. Oh, maybe the... Oh. No. Okay. So the timer at the top of the card is not how much it interrupts the other person. It's how long it takes to use the card. 
So if we upgrade Whack, we can either choose to upgrade its damage, or we can choose to upgrade its time, making it quicker to use. So it can't be interrupted. I see now. So we can either make it faster to use, or we can make it stronger. Hmm. The only problem is I don't, I guess one, what is this? Power three money, speed three money. Okay, money. That's how much it costs. Okay, what about the, sh okay, how much does the stuff in the shop cost then? Four money, okay. Power up whack, but four damage. Power plus one. Power plus, does that make your next attack stronger? Kill four HP. Well, that's really expensive. Gain one armor. Ice cream. I could buy ice cream. Well, I don't... Hmm, what do you guys think? Should I buy a heal? Like, what should I start? I only have a little money. Should I buy a... Should I buy a heal card? That might be... That might be useful. <clears throat> I don't have any heal cards starting out. Should I buy a heal card or should I upgrade one of my wax to do more damage? When it comes out. That's what I was thinking. What do you guys think? I'll let you guys pick. Do you want me to get ice cream? Or do you want me to upgrade one of my cards? Damage and yes. That's the answer. It's okay. Alright, let's do damage then. Pretty early for a heel turn. I mean, I'm not exactly a roguelike de deck builder person. I'm, I'm here for the furries. <laughs> it does make me more interested. Okay, so that's a battle tile. What's, what's a, so we, so question marks are just, all right, so I just walk in them, see what happens. I guess I'll just keep walking to the question marks. Oh, what's this? So I have to, oh, okay, it just hurts you. I was gonna say like, oh, is this like, I wasn't expecting to, <laughs> I didn't expect just walking to that would hurt me because I was like, choose two bonus cards for HP and money. Uh, sure. Oh. Well, I mean, lose money cards are not a big deal when you have zero. So I have a, this is most likely going to work out in my favor. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh -huh. Oh, only two, right. Well, kind of, whatever. I, I didn't expect that trap to hurt me because it was so obvious. <laughs> I thought it was like, maybe gonna trigger an event. All right, fight. Choose two bows, yeah, sure. Oh God, power minus one. All enemies sort of seven haste. Oh, these are, so there's a real risk reward factor here to pick up the cards. All right, good, good, excellent. Mm -hmm. I chose two bad cards, it's fine. So everyone must wait before the turn. This is based on the speed and everyone is different. Cast lasts as long as the cast have their upper up, up speed skills. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Oh, so you can mu put multiple skills together for an attack, but large cast time. If I attack an enemy with the cast, you need to see I'll break them. Okay. Moves the next skill for the turn, break all the enemy skills, and erupts them, skipping their turn entirely. Breaks only happen when the HP is lowered. Is this Pokemon music? Oh, it's Banana. Hold on a second, I need to catch that. Speed of Witch. Like, is this Kirby? Is this a Pokemon battle thing? Almost sounded like it. Hmm. Okay. If you need to swap a card from my hand for a new one from your deck, five F5 to expect fast effects. Okay. Alright, I kinda get it. Oh, it does stop. Okay, so I do have time to think. I wasn't sure if I had to pick in the heat of the moment or not. So wait, what's one... What is 1.75 seconds on the meter up above? Oh, well, say if I like... Okay. That's two times two on him? 1.5 seconds. Okay, wait, hold on. So that's gonna take 1.75 seconds, and he's gonna take 1.5 seconds. He's gonna take 1.25. Okay. I think what that means is... From what I understand, the bat's gonna take 1.5 seconds to get to his turn. The the bee's gonna take 1.25 seconds. Fly bee? I think that's how that works. So 
if I just cast that, start up with some armor. No, that's not how that works. Okay, I'm not... I guess you just have to get a, a fill for it, I suppose? It's like, how long is that gonna take? Okay. Punch. Oh, see, I broke that guy's turn. Okay. I think what I'm having trouble with here is, um... What? How did I not hit it? I think what's confusing me here is how do I know if my attack's gonna get off before the enemies attack? It's kind of hard for me to tell. So I guess they get to the cast phase and then it's like, oh, what do they have, you know? Okay, there we go. I guess what's tricky for me is I suppose the- okay, so during the wait timer, everybody moves at the same speed, but the cast speed depends on what the opponent is doing. The more they're trying to do, the slower their cast speed's gonna be. So, ultimately, you have to kind of play off of, like, alright, is this guy gonna try to use a bunch of attacks, you think? Then maybe you should try to do something quick. Maybe you should delay turn if you think they're gonna be quick. I, I think I'm kind of getting the idea. Like he's trying to shoot. She's gonna shoot off, but he's not gonna catch up. And since he's in, if you attack them in cast phase, then boom, they they suddenly lose the ability to, you know, let them attack first. So if you hit them during cast phase, then you'll interrupt their attack basically. And if they have multiple attack cards, you'll interrupt one at a time. So what I'm confused about though is why am I sometimes doing zero damage? Did you notice how like? My whack attacks were missing, or just basically doing nothing. I'm not sure why I was doing zero damage. That's the only problem I don't quite understand. I guess I might have three. Okay. Yeah, sometimes I just was... Maybe they were dodging? Maybe they were just dodging. I think there is a dodge, so... Um... Charm, card, money. Uh... Let's just get money. Weird, I can only interact with the vehicle from one side. Okay. So I guess heal cards are consumed, I assume? <laughs> well, it is, it is, it is, uh, kind of, you know, food. <laughs> so I guess consume is fair. I wonder if ring cards are consumed cards, or blue cards. Oh! Healing 4 HP at the start of battles. This is kind of useful, actually. Gain 1 armor per second of your cast time. I'm thinking about that. Let's see. Gain 1 armor per second of your cast time. So, every second I'm casting... Does it, like, stack between multiple cast turns? Or is that just for the duration of the cast timer? I guess it's a nice safeguard for if you're gonna get hit before you finish your cast. Actually, yeah, let's buy this. Power up whack. That'll up my power, which is good, especially if I get more debuffs. Green seem to be passives. Yeah, that was what I was thinking. That must be passives. Okay. I'm actually kind of curious what Esler thinks of this, because I think this is his kind of game. Alright, let's do another battle, I guess. Pumpkin. Sure, choose two, but I mean, I can't possibly pick two red cards in a row again. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Pumpkin. <laughs> well, 10% 10, 10 HP isn't really much, but I'll take it. Here we go. Power up whack. So, let's try. Let's just target the hell out of. Wait, hold on. 
Yeah, the bat's the one that's gonna interrupt me, so I should interrupt the bat. You know what? No. Just one attack. There we go. I'm, I'm kind of getting the idea of it. Uh, so if an enemy's just about to attack too, I think I'll delay. Let them do their thing. Oh no, the thing was poison. Uh, and then I'll... Oh, I know I'll do. Aim for the pumpkin and do as much damage as possible. And hopefully, it gives him just enough time to start his cast. It does. Take that, jerk. I mean, I kind of blew him up, so I guess it didn't really matter. <laughs> but it is satisfying. So if you if you if you have a lot of time, if, if you're if the enemies ahead, like in this situation, the bat's a ways off, so I should slow myself down so I can interrupt him. I understand now. Like, there's times where I want to slow myself down so that the bat reaches cast phase, and then I kill him anyway, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, I, I'm starting to see how you would do this with higher HP enemies. I would like to equip a new charm this time. I want to see what charms are. Do I get both of these? I got a golden bone! Always get too many for bat. Oh, that's actually kind of handy to have earlier on. When inflict with slow gain haste instead. Oh, cool. It's like uh, the Puccino Italy. Nice. Oh, I had to pick one. All right, yeah, the money one. That'll do. That wasn't that wasn't terribly obvious I was picking. I thought I got both of them. Regardless, though, I picked the one I would prefer more, so. I'm a little beat up now. Treasure? Tenderize, deal six damage and defense minus one. Okay. The, the stronger the opponent, the more valuable that sort of skill is. Uh, so, it looks like you can't customize your deck. You just have what you have. Okay. I, I can I can vibe with that. What's this? Rest and recover. Toss cards to the fire. Increase rest HP by removing cards. Oh. Hmm. I mean, it's not a bad mechanic. I wonder if gaining armor is really important. For... Probably. <laughs> I probably should be using that now and then. Can I save this for later? I can, right? Okay, good. Heal my HP? Oh, just occasionally. That's just one. Hmm. I mean, I could just toss that into things and get a little healing here and there, but. Oh, wait, I did gain both charms. Hold on a second. At least I think I did. I think I misread that. Oh, wait, maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't read that. Misread that. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Is Quick Fix worth it? I mean. Yeah, remove cards for- if you had a bunch- if I had more cards, I'd have some junk cards that I could probably dispose of. Let's get as much loot as possible, gain some money. Okay. Mach 5, deal 1 damage to all enemies, inflict 4, four slow to all enemies for each break. Oh, it's a really fast attack that- okay, that's a good- that's a good one to have if you just want to break the opponent. Huh. And yes, I'm, I'm deliberately skipping the battles for the moment. Just looking around. Alright, what would you consider junk cards in my deck, then? Oh god. I guess I can be caught unawares by that. <laughs> Your deck. Like the whole thing? Should I just burn the whole thing? Hmm. 
I wonder if 1 HP would add up if I used that a lot. I don't know, it's just 1 HP. I'm not terribly impressed. Oh, wait! It's blue. Didn't we decide that blue is a passive? So that'll just heal me over time, right? That's not bad, at actually, at all. I don't, if I don't have to actively use it. But actually, if it, does that mean it just heals me every point seventy five seconds? That would be actually kind of nice. What's your hand size? I don't know. <laughs> Hell four HP at the start of battles could also be a useful card. I can't afford it though. Oh. The fact you could upgrade healing gives me a thought. You could reduce deck size to equal hand size and let's always have card as turn options. Yeah, I guess so, but that would also severely limit variety. I would be very surprised to let you burn more than one card. My point is, I have no idea what to burn. If you guys don't want to advise me, those of you that actually play card roguelikes, don't want to give me some of your own personal thoughts, that's fine. However, if I pick by myself, it is most likely going to be a worse pick than what anything that you guys who actually play these games have knowledge over. I would also murder shield. I feel like three shields is too many, or not really necessary. Wait. Rest HP plus one, cards burnt zero three. One HP? One HP. I mean, yeah, I'll burn it anyways, but... One, a one HP. One HP. That's it? <laughs> I mean, I guess... Uh oh, um, bear. Please be good, please be good. Oh god, there's three bad ones. Please don't, no, no, no. The lower left is bad! No, I was wrong. Nah. Hey, that's not bad at all! Oh, I was worried. It's a big bear. You had to burn three, but it's only one HP each. This is clearly a boss. I found the boss. I don't know if I'm ready for this, but okay. So why? Pay attention. I wonder if I'm actually gonna heal over time, though. Okay, so this bear's probably gonna. Hmm. Let's start by gaining some armor. And inflicting burn. Seven point five seconds. It. Oh, the three point seventy five seconds. Is that how far away he is from? He's. That's how far away he is from casting. That thing by his name. That's how far away he is from casting. Okay, hold on. Let's give me a thought. That's precisely where I'd want it, right? Well, actually, no, I'm actually gonna do whack. There, that's better. 425. That gives him less than, yeah, he probably won't. Yeah, okay, that should work. Yeah, it worked. Okay. If I cast the quickest fucking thing I can interrupt. But I can't, so... I mean... Wait, three point... Wait! No, that's not... Wait, 3.25 seconds until he finishes his cast? Is that what that means? What does that number at the bottom mean? <laughs> What is that 3.25 seconds to? This is spoopy music. So, I, so he's, uh, so he's this far into a 3.25 second cast, basically. So basically, he's like one third done with a 3.25 second cast, which means he's just got a round two seconds left. Is that correct?
Which means... Less than two seconds? Okay, so I could, like, slip it a, a shield. Which protects me, so... Um, okay. So three point... Again, 3.25 seconds! What is the... 3.25 seconds till it reaches cast, I guess? Yeah, I think that is how that works. Let's try this. Uh, heal. Tenderize. And I guess whack so I get plenty of time. I could burn him again. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how it works, but... Whatever, as long as I can kind of interrupt him. So now I have 2.5 seconds to do something. Alright. I'm kind of getting the idea. About 2.5 seconds, let's get some armor. Woohoo! Just barely. So I'm, I'm kind of getting it. They pre-choose what they'll cast. Yeah, so we know how much time it's going to take, which is weird, but okay. Hey, whatever, it works out. Um, so, like, this will barely beat him out, right? Yeah. Bear is slow. Always use the slow attacks. Okay, this isn't too bad now that I understand how this works. Since the bear is really slow, I can work with this. Um, and whenever he does come up with, like, oh shit, he's coming up with his turn. So I can, 3.5 seconds, so I can armor. Armor. 2.5 seconds. I can even, I can slip that in too. Barely. Wait. I was betrayed. Wait, what happened there, exactly? That timer was incorrect. Oh, but I had to calculate off the cast time. This is so weird! I don't quite understand. They already started the cast. You think it would calculate it, though. You think this number would change as, this, as they go down the cast timer, this number would go lower. But it doesn't, for some reason. I have to estimate it. I don't like that. I'm not fond of that. I find I'm healing, whatever. Shame he has a heal, but oh well. So, wait. If this number... Is this number just the cast time? Is this number just his cast time? So, for instance, he's back on the bar. He's not at his cast timer yet. Which means he's got 3.5 seconds of casting, but also an additional probably two seconds to get to the cast. So, in other words, the great bar is not at all part of this number. It is purely just the cast bar and does not count the cast bar if he's already partially on it. So it's just straight up his... That is his attack. That is his abilities. That's his ability combination. That's basically his card combination. I'm just seeing his card combination, how long it takes, and I have to calculate from there. Okay. That makes a little more sense now. Um, okay. So, like, I have, like, freaking, like, five seconds, actually. So... Um, having two shield cards, having three shield cards may have actually been good, thinking about it. But two is fine, too. I don't quite understand what burn does. So I'm going to take 4.25. That should be fine. That should be fine. Oh, it's catching up. Yeah, that should be fine. So 
So, like, in this situation, I have... A second, basically. Which is not enough time to do anything, so I'll just take it. Like, I right now, like, in this situation, do I have enough time to use 1.5 a second? I don't know. Like, do I have enough time to use a 1.25 second card? I think I do. God, I'm not good at this estimation stuff. Alright, that prevented a uh, defense at least. Okay. Two seventy five. Uh, I've already just done two seventy five. He's probably uh, deal burn. That should be fine, right? Actually, is that too much? I don't know. God, I'm, this estimation stuff isn't my sort of bag, man. I'm just gonna back off then. Yeah, I think you're right. If I added it in, I think it would probably would have been a problem. Weirdly enough, I noticed he's just kind of healing a lot. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Three seconds plus shrug. What's what? What I can't figure out is how much time is passing on the weight bar. Like, like how much is a set? Like, how much? How much is the weight bar? <laughs> how long is the weight bar? You know, the weight bar is always the same like speed for everybody, but I don't know actually how many seconds it takes up. Right. The only, the only time that speeds change is is during the cast timer, based on what they're doing. Probably three seconds? Okay. So I should say he has an extra second on top of that, so it's used like four seconds. Okay. If use the same time as the foe's timer. It might be, is it, maybe it's dependent upon relation to the foe. Yeah, that could be. It's, it's a little confusing though. I feel like I can't completely grasp how this works. <laughs> See, I think I can get away with a hill too. That should be fine. Yeah, that's more than fine. I had more time than I thought. I mean, I'm kind of learning. I just feel like I'm gonna make a mistake at a really bad moment. Okay, so he is like. I have enough time to shield. Actually, I do have enough time to, I could shield or I could interrupt. I guess interrupting would have interrupt the attack. So Yeah, I think I have I have I have, I have enough time to interrupt. Boop. It always seems to interrupt the attack first, right? Or does it interrupt the left one first? I'm gonna pay attention on this on this run. Uh whack. Three point five. Can I get away with that? I don't know. Probably not. Okay, it always takes out the left action first. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention to his health. I was just trying to learn the system. I like how it ended with a little. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Another charm? Can I equip more than one? I want the money, actually. Give him the money. I want to upgrade cards. Oh, I guess that led me to a new map. Oh, uh, that's a shame. That's a damn shame, actually. Oh, well. <laughs> now I'm just surrounded by enemies. Bonus cards? You got, you got to do it. You got to do some bonus cards. Yeah, it's, I'll take it. It's not the worst. All right. At least I'm learning. Uh, those two are just powering up, so I'm gonna punch the one that's not. Which one is that? That's the uh, that one. Oh, he's way back there. Uh, okay. Be just beam the fuck up then. 
Oh wait, but they're gonna interrupt me if I do that. That's well, no, they, no, they won't. They're just powering up. Yeah, he's the only one actually doing something annoying. So that should be fine. Yeah, should be fine. Shouldn't have. To, I shouldn't have to worry about those guys. Oh, I should have. I should have given myself more time. Oh well. It's a lot hard to manage with multiple enemies, obviously. And they're all going for an attack. Alright, uh... Oh, but you could also interrupt... Mmm, yes, I see. Okay, hold on. I, I gotta think about this. Time just right. So they're gonna do, take 1.5 seconds. They're also one second away. That's probably too slow. I guess just interrupt the ghost, yeah. Cause he's gonna zoom! Yeah, he's trying to zoom. That ghost is already going again, but he's just doing that, so I don't really care. And which one is, uh, which one is doing that one? 1 so 1.75 seconds to interrupt him. I can interrupt him with a whack. And then, you know, let's, let's get some shields out. That seems good. Wait. No, I, I could, I only can whack, right. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, did you just heal? You gave everybody sh eight shield? Fuck's that shit. That stupid ghost gave everybody eight shields. That's just mean. Wow, he could just spam shield all. Now they all have 12. Well, I guess I'm dead, but seriously, I, I mean, how, how, this ghost is fucking stupid. <laughs> it's just like throwing on extra HP. To everybody. Whatever, it doesn't really matter what I do at this point. I've lost. The thing is, I have to focus on the others, man, because I gotta interrupt their attacks so they interrupt mine, you know? Huh. Heard the stone, huh? You see something annoying like that? Focus on it. I didn't know it was annoying until I started doing it. And spamming it for that matter. Is that normal enough for these card deck builders to have an enemy that just spams a ton of HP to all the enemies? They look like they're doing single attacks, you should too. To all of them? Well, I mean. You get interrupted because you aim for longer change. That's not. Try again. That seems kind of interesting. Not sure if that's any good, though. 6 H Hilly Street. Oh, that seems like a pretty good one, actually. Actually, actually seems like pretty solid. Oh! Shit! No, fuck you. I'm buying that as soon as possible. Six armor at the start of each turn if I don't have any? That, that'll that help a bit. Six is a lot, actually. Oh, uh... Sure. Oh, I could lose money, though. 
Oh, what's the chance of that happening? Ah, I see. <laughs> it is your typical roguelike, though, so some runs are just gonna suck and some aren't. That's just how it goes. Blaze looks pretty good, too. When air with airborne deal 12 damage, consume airborne. I don't have airborne. Also, Al, look. Oh, hey, I got two buddy. Despite that one thing trying to break my wallet, I now have enough. I mean, first run is not never going to work out in a game, right? Especially a rogue roguelike. Yeah, let's just buy that. Alright. Does that count as, like, can I upgrade that? No. Also, it looks like Crash Lighting is completely useless unless I also have Airboard, so... Oh, actually, I'm curious about saying. Oh, you can't upgrade. Oh, it's already upgraded! Oh, it's already upgraded! I got an upgraded card out of that. Oh, interesting. So you can actually get pre-upgraded cards. Huh. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Burn all my shields? Yeah, I'll do that later, of course. Uh, but yeah. So would you guys upgrade cards for speed, or would you guys upgrade cards for power? I'm curious. Blaze seems like a pretty good... Actually, yeah, Blaze is just kind of... Yeah, Blaze is pretty solid. One of each for options. I see your I see your logic. So one thing I don't like, and I don't know, maybe it's normal for a roguelike deck builder, I really wouldn't be able to tell you. But one thing I don't like is um how I just found the boss right before I was done with the rest of the fights in the area. And that kind of sucks, because I'd like to get all the like I, before going to, oh. Oh! Oh, that was weird. I walked right on the line. Um Oh, that's the boss, isn't it? Because it has more symbol-y things. Okay, the boss isn't hidden. It's just I didn't notice the difference of the icon. Maybe if that was a different color, I would have noticed easier. <laughs> I was just making that a different color. Make it orange or something. I don't know. Oh, no, it's a bird. I also think drawing the cards may not always work to my benefit, but it's more interesting if you do. Start with two sounds of you and minus one defense on anyways. Nice. Speed for the interrupt. I mean... Okay. Damn, they had an opportunity right here on this tutorial to tell me how long the wait meter was. Wait. Yeah, they don't do that, sadly. It would really be nice if they said that, but maybe they're, maybe it's dynamic, so they can't. Press V to swap a card in my hand from a new one from my deck. Actually, is that... Can you just do that? Like, any card, or... Ah. Discard pile. Oh, you can do that twice. Okay. I see. That's good to know I can do that. I wonder if I can only do it twice per battle. Um, let's see. I like the, there's a puppo. Um, let's see. 1.5, 1 1.5. 1 They're going to go pretty fast both of them, so... But! Okay, we'll start by uh, blazing... Puppo, because I think I have enough time for that. And then flaming the bird afterwards. <laughs> or whacking the bird afterwards. Yeah? Ooh, just barely. But yes, I did have enough time. Dang, but I didn't catch the eagle, so oh well. I, I was trying to get both, but in that situation, yeah, that's fine. And the armor immediately worked out for me, so. Uh, Papa is about to take turn. I can just beat him out with a whack. 
Okay. Let's do it. Whack. Oh, I... Not to mention I could decimate him into pieces. That also kind of helps. Uh, there is no way I'm getting around that, so let's delay turn. Oh, you can discard multiple. Okay, so you can discard twice per turn. That's nice. Kind of just have to take that one. Uh, let's... Oh, yeah, actually. Ooh, 75 seconds. He's going to attack fast, but I... that's fine. Uh, shoot. Let me think. I need to delay as much as possible, don't I? Okay, hold on. If I if I do this, he's not gonna make it to his turn. I have to delay as much as possible, so I'll do shield as well. Hopefully it makes it to his turn, but I don't know. I don't think it will. Whatever, at least I heal and get some armor. I gotta say, the, uh, the random enemies in the second world are a lot tougher than the ones in the first world. But I do know a mi a way more of what I'm doing now. Destroy. Well, I do feel like I'm more competent in this run. <laughs> now I kind of get how things work. It has an interesting ebb and flow. I like it. Let's, I think... So should I always... What do you guys think I should do on the loop spectrum? Would you go? Would you guys go for the charms? I should probably get th those charm slots filled, right? Because that's just a passive that does cool shit, right? So probably should get those passives lined up. They probably benefit me. Rayhound collar. And you gain an airborne. <laughs> what is up with all these? I like paw fan. Somebody tell Beerus about the paw fan. Um. All these cards that work with Airborne. When you gain Airborne, gain two more. I I almost feel like, man, if I can find the card Airborne, I've got a bit of a combo. But I don't know if I want a combo because that would also require gaining the cards. I can discard cards though. <sighs> Your first card's cast time each turn is seventy-five. That's pretty good actually. Like, do I want to go for the combo that I'm kind of accidentally building, or Airborne's a status? Well, I don't know how to generate the status, so. But yeah, the first card taking yeah, 75, that's pretty good. Let's do that. I'm down for that. Oh, at least two. Wait, that's, was that a lot of negative cards or was that just my imagination? Okay, I'll take it. That could be worse. Plus one power on the enemies doesn't matter too much if I interrupt them correctly. So the first card will always cost 75, 0.75, so. Ooh, you know what actually? Leading off the demi isn't a bad idea then. Oh yeah, what's haste move and cast 25% faster? Oh, that's also okay, so um. I guess Demi counts as an attack, so... One second when he gets his turn. Never mind. Okay. That's too much. 2.5 is probably about right, I think. Is that still too long? Let's find out. Nope, I got him. <laughs> Did not get the B though. Tried. Ooh, right on the bat. Around the money of the bat. I gotta, I gotta out bat the bat. Let's see. I can't. Out, I cannot out bat. Wait, I know I can. Out bat the bat. <laughs> Ow. Wait, can I use this? Removes the status effect for the target to do an effect. What? Wait, there's a button to look at status effects. I forget what it was, though. There, there's a button to check that. It said so. 
Like, there's a way to, like, see what each of the status effect the opponent has, but I forget how to do that. So I guess the, the opponent needs airborne. Uh... I, is the bee airborne? It's a bee. <laughs> the bat's kind of rolling, so I don't think it's currently airborne. I don't know. Shrug? Should I just... What should I do here? It's anti-air, yeah. So... That would decimate it, right? Technically speaking. I guess if it does 12 damage, I would know. Let's see. Well, it missed. So... Shrug! I don't think it was Curly Airborne or something. When you're Airborne, I, I guess. I don't know, man. Still trying to figure this shit out. One second, okay. That's probably... Hey, you think the haste applies, applies immediately? It probably does, yeah. Oh shit, I could have actually gone faster. Ha! <laughs> I hasted and then got slowed. Alright. Sure, why not? Nope, I messed up. It was it was hard to time, to be fair. Oh good, cards aren't wasted. If you if you target an opponent with two cards and they die in the first card, the other card goes okay, that's cool. Um yeah. When you gain take you flight gain one haste. Yeah, it's, okay. There's a lot of synergy here, but I don't think I'm gonna go for it. Let's grab the armor. Since I do go pretty slow. And we kinda got an armor build going that way too. So, okay. Three bad cards. That's, that's good. And that's bad. <laughs> Alright. I'd rather than be weaker. Also make it a first two, that's cool. Okay, so I think leaning off with Demi is, is pretty solid out of that idea. As well as leading off with haste, especially since I'm hurt. 25, and then throw one other thing on. Uh, hope this works. Oh, it did! I really am bad at judging this. Oh, what is the pumpkin doing? Whatever he's doing, he's doing it fast. Um, I can't possibly stop that, but I can stop the bat. 1.5. Okay, yeah, we'll just, uh... Wait, 56... Oh, right, I've hasted. In that case. Can I... Wow, that's really fast, actually. I think I can do that, right? Well, then again, 0.5 seconds, it's not very long at all. Hmm. Then again, he's not interrupting me, is he? Yeah, let's just do that then. He's slaying the bat. That should be enough. I think I can... Yeah, I'm faster. Nice. I don't know what the pumpkin did in that turn, but... I guess whenever I get crash light, I should also just throw it out. Okay. He's just shielding. It'd be nice if I could prevent that, though, yeah. Two seconds. I beat that out, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you- oh! Oh, shoot! Oh, that's- that's kind of bad, actually, because... <laughs> so 
So if you play a perfect game, you get a bunch of money, and that's kind of a big deal. That's kind of a big deal. Oh, I don't like that mechanic. I don't like that mechanic because if you play well, you get more options. But if you play poorly, you stay playing poorly. I'm not sure I agree with that. I do like the bonus idea, but like that's really significant. It almost, and you may think, oh, it's only three money, but like that's that's a whole card upgrade right there. That's not insignificant. <laughs> I'm not sure. That might be might be a bit too much, actually. Flick one damage three times. Heal my HP for each break. Oh. Huh. That's a weird one. Two seconds to break up the three attacks. Yeah, I mean it is incentive to play better, but I just I don't know if I can achieve that. Let's see. So you suggested one faster, one sl and one slow, one faster, one more powerful. I I'm down for that idea. Does anybody figure out what burn does? Was that during damage over time? I can't really tell. How? Does, what was? What was burn doing? I was too busy looking at the timer. You would actually buy this healing card? I mean, it's not terrible. Certainly. Okay, I'll buy it, I suppose, if you... Eh, Alright. Granted, I could buy it. Go to Blacksmith. Go to it. 2 HP for each break, I thought so. That is double. Alright, there we go. <coughs> Let's see. Max HP thing sounds nice, but it only lasts for a little while. Only it's only useful for a bit. Okay. Oh no, haste is an option. Oh no, this is bad. I bet it's gonna be the start with seven slow enemies. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow! No, I got the haste and armor. Holy shit! Okay. All right, good start. Let's see. And my first attack gets, oh my God, it's so cheap. All right, so let's see here, use a big one. Use the big numbers. Uh... Can I set this up that I can? Probably not, no. Trying to interrupt both of them is really a cool idea, but I don't think I can achieve that. Ah, oh, dang. Well, hey, wait. <laughs> wait, that's a waste of his turn. He's like, it's the start of battle. I should heal. <laughs> Good work, bud. <laughs> How's, how'd that work out for you? <laughs> so burn is just damage, right? I, I don't know. I did four damage. Ah, oh, here, it's this thing. 1.75, okay. Is that enough? There, uh, hmm. I feel like I'm still- I feel like I'm gonna go a little too fast for that. Uh...
This is problematic. Alright, let's try it. Nope, oh, no, it's fine. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm getting this no HP loss thing down. So shields are fucking important then, in that case. Let's... Let's get some more money. Yeah, let's get some more... No, let's get cards. I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> hey, I, we want to just... I'll, we want to just have a bird, and then poison. Yay. Defense plus one. Deal for... Okay, um... I kind of like flame breath. I would like another flame breath, actually. Cool. Kind of getting the hang of this now. A little bit. Um, okay. If my breath is, uh... Yeah. See, if we take... Poison is a little bit mean. I think I, I had it affect me and it was, there's, you know, it was kind of problematic. Alright. Let's see. Five and seven? Oof. To all enemies, mind you. Power that up. Dang, that's good. Alright, let's see. Yeah, to all enemies. That's kind of important the ghost problem, actually. Probably should get the other one as well. I think flame breath is good. Mm -hmm. Oh, it does take off. It does, like, damage once and then it's gone. I th that's At least it seems how poison worked on me. Alright. How bad could this be? Good. What status immunity? I mean, cool, cool why not? Feel like you're not drawing the cards you want, you can use the cap to remove the three. I'll do that at the after this battle. Oh, okay. I'm gonna start with... Oh, wait, hold on. Are these... Uh oh Oh, no! Where's the bird? Where's the bird, guys? <laughs> hold on, wait, I can select them. Oh, there he is! Wow, they're tying. Okay, uh, they- Oh, wow, they're gonna activate their turn basically at the same exact moment. Cause they're both choosing 1.5 seconds. Alright, well, uh... Hmm. I don't need a hill, but why not? Break the shit out of him. Why not? Right, that's only three damage. Let's try this. Three point seven five. They're gonna do one point five. That might just barely catch them. I, I don't know. Maybe I should do whack. <laughs> Four point twenty five, that should catch them. I think. I would have slowed down too much. Oh, that was close. Oh I did I didn't actually interrupt, but that's fine. Might be one of those status where you don't want to fully break them, perhaps. Oh hell yeah, I wanna use this. Burn. Burn to the ground. <laughs> I feel kind of good about how I'm constantly getting a bunch of money. Uh, card or money? Seven money. Okay, I'm going to do money because I can buy the other flame breath and also power it up. And then I'll be in good shape. And then I'll burn some cards. Wish I could burn them for money if I don't need HP. That'd be kind of nice. Oh wait, I already got- well, that's fine, whatever. So I'm thinking that we- yeah, we upgrade this one. With power, because we have the haste thing, so... Re and reducing time isn't a big deal. So now we got two of those all hits, which is kind of a big deal, because wouldn't that all hit also interrupt? Oh, hey there, Zim! I stream late enough that Zim stops streaming, huh? Amazing. <laughs> a rare occurrence, for sure. Let's see. Hello, everybody. How's everybody? How's everybody in the raid doing? 
We're playing a furry deck builder. Hmm, 30%. That's, that seems like a very minor increase that's not worth it. Hmm. Uh, okay. Maybe save, maybe I should save my money. Wait, you think I should save my money, guys? Save, save for the next round or on? Technical difficulty, so I can keep going. Oh, I'm starting to hear that. I knew something had to be different if you were, uh, if you were raiding me at this hour. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Hmm. Trying to decide how to upgrade these cards. This is a furry deck builder roguelike, which has a huge focus on interrupting enemy attacks, and enemies doing the same to you. Let's see. Things I want to get rid of because they're completely useless to me. Crash landing. Burn. And Demi isn't useless per se, but I haven't really found a use for it. Hmm. I'm gonna burn it. Kinda takes up space. I don't need it. And then we'll burn one of the shilts. Okay. Boss fight. Alright, hopefully these boss cards don't screw me. There's only three bad ones. It's not too bad. Okay, that's really good. And that's not great, but that's fine. Status mute is not the worst thing for them to get. Just means I won't burn them, basically. Alright. Can gain more haste. I'll save Flame Breath for later. 3.5 on them, okay. Yeah, I should be able to barely eke out a- No, wait! Oh, oh, no, oh, no, no! Oh! Come on! Yeah, I was right! I had just enough time. <laughs> there we go. Oh, he's faster. Oh, it's fine. 3.25, I can do it. I can deal with that. Uh, I'll just use... Ooh. Zero point sixty six and two oh six. Oh no, that's 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 not a word. Two oh six will do fine. Okay, I gotta be fast. He has like two seconds. Uh that you know, just one. Just just do one. Get it out of the way. Oh, I let him shield. Well, that's fine. Whatever. Probably should notice he was doing two attacks, but... Uh, okay. We can break the... We can break the, uh... Let's do that. That. Oh, that's, that's not good. Is that enough time for him to start attacking? I hope so. Yeah, that's enough time. Okay. I need to get his cast meter active to interrupt him, basically. Ooh, this is gonna be a hard one to interrupt. I can interrupt one of these. He's got, like, one second. That's gonna barely do it. I, I'm gonna, actually, yeah, let's do that. That should barely do it. Yeah! Boom! Stop. Stop right there. You're done, boy. Yeah, connect. <laughs> Hooray. Uh, card or money? Hmm. Let's do card. Oh. Angry. Oh, I don't know. That looks like kind of dangerous. Granted, if I don't get hit. Hmm. Play plus one card next turn. Gain five armor. Oh no, let's do that. Cause gain the extra armor and defense on top of that. I think that stacks. I think the armor also is affected by defense. So 
That is a superior armor card. I think I will go with that one. That's a pretty that's a pretty good one actually. I, I don't mind mixing that in here and there. Alright. Where the oh okay. Dungeon. What? Go through door. Don't go through door. Fight over there. Enemy power down, gain two money, okay. All right. Oh, more treasure. This is a much better, this is a much kinder lay, lo, layout of this dungeon compared to the last time. Last time, we immediately were forced into fighting before finding a shop or anything. Money, okay. Boring, but effective. Gotta what, look out for, uh, yeah. Now the chance of losing money and HP here, but that's okay. I mean, what's the odds that I get nothing but red cards? Lose 3 HP, heal 2 HP. Shrug, I guess. Can I? Yeah, I can. <laughs> I can skirt that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can't skirt that, though. Oh, didn't skirt that. All right. Yeah, that's good. Good start. Story of Armor is excellent. Okay, I don't know what Spider does, but I'm gonna assume Poison. So... Uh, okay, the hand wants to attack, and that one, I think, wants to poison me. Uh, let's start by gaining some haste, because that's always good to have. Um, and then we'll also click burn on the... I kind of want to shut down... Well, I guess between the two, I'd want to shut down the hand first, so... I'll focus on one target. I don't know, actually. 375. I think the spider's gonna get their attack off, and the hand is not gonna quite catch up. Well, actually, no, the hand might catch up in time. I'm not sure. Maybe I should just focus the hand. Ignore the spider. I'm not gonna hit it in time. Probably. Well, I don't know, actually. I'll see, we'll see. Nah, not even. Ah, oh, I did it just too early. Shame. Oh well. Okay. I think he's fucking with my hand. Um, okay. Ah, here we go. One and seventy-five, okay. Sadly, I'm not going to... Yeah. On the bright side, I fuck him up a bit. The spider just wants to mess with my hand size. I don't know what he's doing exactly. <laughs> Alright. I see, my hand has gotten very small because of the spider. So the spider is poisoning my hand, basically. The first charm doesn't do anything anymore, thanks to the vest. Oh, that's a good point, I'll buy it. I'll get a new charm next time I have an option. And I'll replace it. That's a good point, I, I didn't realize that. Uh, the spider just keeps messing with my hand size, is that... I guess that's kind of a bad thing, though. Yeah, it's kind of a bad thing. Ooh, okay, um... How about you stop? Well, it's like the only thing he does. He just constantly messes with my hand size. <laughs> Ironically, the hand monster doesn't mess with my hand. <laughs> it's the spider. <laughs> Whoa, one second casting? What the hell is he doing? Alright. Ah, oh, too fast. God dang it. 
Oh shoot, I have to interrupt him fast or I'm not gonna interrupt him at all. Can I interrupt him? He's got like... That's not an... Is that enough time? Hell yeah it is! Fuck you. <laughs> uh, okay, he's doing a one second move. He's got le Oh god, um... Yep, can't stop that. That's okay, I'll just hit him a bunch. Oh, he's gonna do 10 damage, that's fine. Actually, I think I can beat that. Uh, two seconds, yeah, I can beat that. I just need to hit him with something, so, done. Well, that went a lot better than the previous fight. Granted, we didn't have a ghost. Oh, wait, I guess... Oh, them hitting my armor counts as them hitting me. Okay, that's fine. New charm. Okay. Oh, hold on a second. Your cast time cannot be longer than three seconds. Well, granted, I'm not really having that problem with all the haste I've been doing. Spider webs. Integrally your hand to catch your cards. Oh, I see your logic there. It's, he's like cobwebs all over my cards, so I can't use a lot of them. <sighs> Hold that a second. So, gain one armor per uh, second your cast time. Your first current's cast time each turn. Your first card's... No, hold on. Gain six armor at the start of your turn if you don't have any. <sighs> so, I disagree, actually, Soul. That is still having an effect. The start of battle starts to be of six armor. Because of, you know, how I start out. Then again, cast time not longer than three seconds. I mean, that is pretty good too. But, look at the Assault Fest compared to the Fission Spinner. Gain one armor per second of your cast time. Your cast time can't be longer than three seconds though. I think that is more beneficial, I agree. The assault, if but if we're using the fidget spinner, the assault vest is going to be less useful. So I'll switch it out. Okay. True, true. I, I, I there's multiple ways I can get armor. So, uh, yeah. Where's the van? I'm looking for the van. There's, there's a van in the creepy dungeon, right? It's probably this way. Alright, I fought my way to it. Oh no, it's the... I think it's the ghost. Please don't give me bad ones on this battle. I need some good cards. That's better. Okay. Actually, I don't even know what the thing on the right is, but whatever. What matters to me is that that stupid ghost is a real threat, so we gotta stop it. Red Flame Breath is perfect for that, so... Okay. It feels if... That's safe. No. Spider's gonna get off its thing. But it's safe for the other two, I think. Oh! You're armed incorrect! I broke everybody! Except for that guy, which just didn't care for some reason. Alright. Oh, he had two things going, that's why. Okay, let's see. Spire's already beginning turn. Okay. I'm just gonna lay into the. Yeah, I'm just gonna lay into him. There, I can beat. I think I can beat that. I think I can beat that. No, I can't. I can't beat that. Rude. Poison. 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 It has procs, you see.
Just thinking. 2.5. See, that's too much, because the, the spider's going to beat me out. So, right. That's fine. There's the shield all. I knew it was coming. Uh, alright. Spire's just trying to debuff me. Alright, that's fine. That ghost is a real heckin' problem. Oh, it slowed me. That was actually kind of to my benefit. Well, I know that other guy's gonna punch me. I kind of just... I, the ghost is such a fucking... Yeah, look at it. You can even do normal healing. You're a fucking ghost. Why are you healing HP? Stop that. It's stupid. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Um... Do I target the ghost to get rid of him? I can't. I'm gonna shut that guy down. 351. Oh, hold on. Okay, fine. Oh, the spider's doing something besides messing with my hand this time. Hmm. Okay, three seconds to defeat that guy. Alright. Can do. Poison's annoying, but oh well. There! Got rid of that guy. Oh, there's no way I'm beating these guys. Oh, wait, hold on! Spider gets to attack still, but actually no, I kind of interrupted that too. Uh, can I interrupt that though? 175. He's got that might just barely. Ah, oh, not quite. That's okay though. <laughs> yeah, the ghost. The thing is, the ghost doesn't do damage as much. So, <sighs> card or money? Card. Or Let's do card. Oh shoot, gain five haste just like that. Eruption, they'll take damage all enemies and gain seven. Gain seven burn! <laughs> um. Yeah, sure, why not? What's that? Oh god. It's his pot. There's the van. Bigger hands. Hand size plus one next turn. Okay. Mach five. One damage to all enemies. They inflict four, four slow to all enemies for each break. This is an excellent interruption card. Doesn't do much damage, but look at that. It slows them down and everything. And it's really fast. And that's actually, I'm going to grab that one. Probably. And Flix Burn. <laughs> we'll look very happy about it. Gain five haste and start a battle. Use the late turn of cards so it work. Okay. Let's grab that. Let's grab Mach 5. Let's also. Oh, wow. Double it to eight slow? Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, you know, though. If I upgrade the speed, it could just be this instant interrupt card I could always have. Just to always interrupt. Yeah, let's do that. That is ridiculously short, plus I have a haste timer bonus. So I can just slap that card down to interrupt if I have no other option. Like, they're, you know. That gives me an option to interrupt better. Um, okay. Defense plus two. That sounds pretty good, too. Oh, look at this. 15 damage. Here we go. That's, uh, that's a, some damage, actually. Uh, let's also upgrade... Tempting to upgrade Bunker down, because defense plus two and seven armor? Yeah, that's kind of good. Let's do that. 
Okay, I can, I can do one more thing. Maybe upgrade a, a whack. Maybe upgrade a flame. I'm not sure. This is kind of fun, actually. Let's upgrade a whack. Let's make a whack stronger. Yeah, let's make a stronger one. All right. Now I feel like I have a pretty good setup going. Let's backtrack to the place. Actually, no, not yet. Let's just fight this battle. Oh, I don't even know what those guys are. Uh, what's that statue? Okay. Hmm. Statue wants to do double abilities? Okay. Uh, let's see. Immediately start with uh, that, and then go to that. Oh wait, hold on. Correct me if I'm wrong, but if I use second wind, flame breath, that's two twenty-five. But if I do, if I do flame breath, second wind, that's also two. Okay, it doesn't actually change. Never mind. I was wondering if order mattered for the first card, because I have a first card bonus. Let's see. Eruption one hits. Oh wow, you're right. They would. Oh, that's the... See, the ghosts are really actually quite good at fighting, but... It's gonna be like, oh yeah, actually, they kind of suck at, like... Okay, three second cast time. Is that okay? I don't know if that is. We gotta look at the one that can, uh... Yeah, 225. He's got, like, 320... He's got a little under 325. Before his thing gets off, so... That should be fine. Yeah, I interrupts to him. I still get to do a few things, but whatever. Okay, the statue has 1.5 seconds. Okay. Oh, hey, eruption. He's got, he's got a little more than 1.5, I think. So I think I could get away with this. Nope. Oh, I lost eruption. So sad. Oh well. I also took a bit of damage. That's okay though. I did not time that right. Six. Three. Statue super slow. Makes sense, actually. He's gonna take two seconds to do whatever he's doing, so... A little healing there, just why not. The statue seems pretty easy to... ...interrupt, actually. Hi there, Dano. This is Cartruptors. It's a furry game. This, this is just a demo, but... Uh, a furry dev, dev contacted me about it, because they're, they're furry. And they knew I was furry, and so, you know. Oh, he's gonna do... Whatever he's doing is only takes 1.5 seconds. Okay. Oh, that's problematic, then. This is... I'm trying to think about this. Is that too long? That's too long, right? Because that's going to be 1.5 cast, and then maybe there's a second left. Ugh, I don't know. No, actually, it's fine. I don't know why I was so worried. Oh, the haste wore off midway. That's why. Okay. Interesting. Hey, we, hey, have some 15 damage. Bye. <laughs> Eruption. <laughs> Uh, that's a good question, actually. Card, money. Let's do money. No, let's do card. Deal 12 damage, gain 5 slot. Hyper beam, huh? Oh, another eruption! Fuck yeah! <laughs> Double eruption! I just have to upgrade it to make it better, but. 
Uh, can't do that yet. Oh, this cloud is just here now. Uh, that's annoying. But you know what's better than a volcano erupting? A volcano erupting twice. <laughs> Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Statue and ghost. That's not a terrible combination. Honestly, I think I got really unlucky. Oh no, that's not a great start. I'll work of it. At least it's not at least not as slow. Um, okay. It's okay, I can still beat him up. They're about the same right now. They're gonna be 1.5 and 2. Okay, I just need to make sure I. What if does eruption cause me damage? I'm not actually sure. Okay, three seconds. That should get him. That should be. That should be fair. Well, kind of fair. Oh, he's gonna do 14 damage? Shit. Ow! Freak. <laughs> oh, this is already going. Uh. No, that's not gonna work. Oh, wait, he's just, he's just doing a shield. That's. That's fine. It's not, it's annoying, but it's fine. Yeah, Gargoyle is really painful, so I need to make sure he doesn't do his thing. One second. He's... Okay, I'm ignoring the ghost. I want to care about the other guy, so... Is that long enough, though? I'm gonna wait. There we go. Delay is sometimes the most valuable thing to do. Alright. Is that long enough? I don't even know if that's long enough. Fuck. I'm gonna hope that's long enough. It wasn't long enough! Oh my god, these fucking... It, it being slow is actually fucking me up. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I guess I'm getting beat up again. Ouch. I have this- I actually have this stupid idea, though. One second. Yeah, I can't interrupt that either. But that's okay. He'll have... probably... Yeah, it's just light into him. I have a stupid idea. Might or might not work. See, I could just kill him with this, but... That's not my goal. Even that was almost too slow. Sheesh! Okay. I have this stupid idea. I want to see if it works. Okay, one, two seconds, right. Oh. Damn it. My plan was to leave the statue alive and repeatedly get the heal card and heal up with it. But, uh, I didn't expect that attack to actually kill it. What the hell? That, that was sacked weirdly. That sacked differently than I expected. Oh, that, that looks like a mean little combination, but alright. Admittedly, the ghost may not actually be that dangerous. So I may be able to do that with a ghost as well. 
It's dangerous with a friend. Oh god, they started with haste. Alright. I think I can. I think that's good. Well, kind of. Oh wow. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> right, eruption's good. Oh no, I, and if I don't attack quickly, can I? Can I? Inter can I interrupt? Oh, they're not actually doing attacks though, so I should be okay. Go! Oh dang, they interrupt. Shame. I didn't get healing out of that. The spider just wants to fuck up my hand size. Alright, um... Screw it. Ah, I didn't kill the spider, I miscalculated. Rude. Alright, it's fine. Just whack? Shield. Damn. Ha, still enough damage. Fuck you. Fuck you and your healing. I'm now going to keep you alive. I think. Yeah, I did. Now I'm just gonna keep him. He's the healer. I don't give a shit about him. But in case I'm wrong, I'm also putting a shield up. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Alright. Yeah, I just realized, like, this is actually a strategy. I mean, he might heal himself up by the time I'm done doing this, but... Yeah, this second wind card is exactly what I'm do using right now. Might as well be power empty while I'm at it. This seems, uh, yeah, does the ghost ever attack, actually? I'm kind of getting the impression he doesn't. <laughs> Damage two times. Two, four, six. He gets rid of that. Wait, why did they do eight? Well, whatever, he survived it regardless. I probably should stop using that attack. I might kill by accident. Also, what's causing me to lose armor? Oh, him. He's causing me to lose armor. It, he can take out my armor, I suppose, is what he's doing. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. Oh, yeah, I can. I forgot. I can, uh. There it is. I forgot I could discard, which is useful. This is a viable strategy, right here. This is gonna change our release, perhaps. It does seem a little exploitative, doesn't it? Oh, I actually could have used that. Armor only lasts for two turns. So armor is a very heat in the moment sort of thing. Fair. No, no, they should keep this. I like this. Oh, no. <laughs> I like this. This makes the world like more playable for me. It is also notable that, yes, it, it was as I thought. The ghost literally can't hurt me. It can hurt my sh- maybe hurt my shields, that's it. It's literally a buffer, slash healer, so it's kind of what it does. So armor doesn't last very long, that's interesting.
Oh, I feel a lot better now. <laughs> Oh, uh, it looks like I'm always forced to use a card, though, eventually. Hmm. Like, I can't just delay turns out forever. I have to use something. I have our halves each turn that reaches cast choice. Okay, I see. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I see what you're talking about now. Though my defense buffs seem to stack, the defense plus two, it, it adds up, right? Or does, yeah, I think, I think the, the shield, like the actual defense attack buffs, they stack. They actually do stack. Bye. Thanks for letting me heal on you, healer! It's kind of appropriate, actually. He is the healer, and I used him for healing. Kind of works. Um, that was very effective. Let's get a card. Unbreakable for two turns. What does that do? Another eruption! Also, air, another one of Airborne. Uh, uh, give me, no, give me eruption. Let me erupt everywhere. <laughs> also, what is left to do in the dungeon? I'm, I've actually... Uh, not not kind of pared this down so yeah i can i can very safely for, uh heal off the ghosts i can somewhat safely heal off the statues if i'm careful but i have to make sure i time things right oh no at least i got the fits out of it oh soul you know what i mean okay i'm slow uh that's fine I will explode. Explode. 94 cast time. Oh my god, I go so much higher up when I do that. Um, 2.5, that should be fine. Oh, but we're not concerned. Well, actually, no, I am concerned. Wait, the ghost is attacking me? This greatly surprises me. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Well, it sucks to be me, but it takes the damage again. <laughs> Ow. My face. Alright, let me give myself some haste. Fine. I was more concerned about the statue. Uh, okay. Okay, statue is probably gonna have cat. Okay, so. That should. Is that enough? Ah, oh, fuck. Delay turn. Look how slow that fucking statue is. I hate how slow they are. They're annoying. It's actually so slow it throws me off. That should be enough. Barely. I have to interrupt the statue. It's fucking required. Two seconds. Okay.
Uh... Every card I add to my deck is a card that I might draw instead of something I need. Let's go ahead and gain... It's only one money, though. Hmm. Let's do a card. Gain it to, uh... to be fair, Blaze actually is useful for double hit foes, so I'll take it. Because that takes out both their hits. Okay, that's the boss fight right here. So, is there anything past the boss fight? Can't tell, and I don't want to risk touching it just yet. Okay, so besides the boss fight, am I done here? I'm going to go upgrade a card. Well, my second run is going a lot better than the first, even though I don't think it's perfect. I stopped getting those uh, money bonuses, but that's all right. Now, where the bloody heck is that van? Take this. Let's see. Burn. Uh. Yeah, that, that's good. Well, Hyper Beam is cool, but I don't know. I, I Slow would mess me up. I don't really want to have slow unless an enemy inflicts upon it to me, and I just can't help, but, you know. Unless I'm stuck with slow because of an enemy, I don't want to have it. Because <laughs> when I have... Listen, I have trouble judging the timers, so if I add... If I am constantly slowing myself, I'm going to misjudge a lot. So, it's going to cause me a lot of damage. All right, let's see here. What we're here for is to upgrade another eruption. Now I have two eruptions that do 15 damage, which is kind of an insane number. Honestly, if I stack those together right, uh, that will that could just we could technically end battles before they start with enough eruption power yeah, with the right sort of setup. So you know. Huh? Okay. Can you toss more cards? You can toss more cards? You're allowed to toss more cards, even after resting, huh? Alright, boss time. Oh, he has ads. Alright, let's see what let's see what we end up with. That's not good. That's that's good though. Plus one power isn't the worst, I guess. A mummy and his wrappings, okay. The wrappings are very, okay, I can just take out the wrappings. Um, seems like a good start. It's like burning the mummy is a good idea. Three second. Should be okay, right? No. 2.5. Perfect! Wait, they're not dead? Oh, they're like, sort of dead. Oh, can I interrupt them? I don't know if I can. I got like, not enough time. Uh, delay. Ow. <laughs> nice kick. I'm going to... Erupt, I guess. Second win. And... Give myself some armor. I suppose. Oh! Nice! He just barely made it in. I wasn't sure if he would. Okay, I have to do something before he does. Uh, let's see. Hell yeah. Break. Erupt. Oh no. 
Eruption's only free if I use it first. Okay. Boop. Oh, the rapids are moving. Ooh, do I have enough? I think I do. Yeah. Oh, can't miss, can't can't avoid this one. Though he's just debuffing, so it's not too bad. Uh, one point five. Oh, fuck off! Wait, did I get hit? I apparently did get hit by something. Oh yeah, I did get hit. He punched me once. That wasn't too bad though. Uh, let's get some money. We did it. Congratulations, that's it for the card droppers pre alpha demo. I beat it. Thanks for playing. Dino will be joined by a Marshall, the Magpie, and a third playable character of unique abilities. Yeah, there's going to be multiple furry characters. That's good. So we're playing as Dina. That's her name. Okay. Coming up, ABC, CBA, B, BCA. Areas that will appear in any order. Fresh runs every time. So, looks like this will have three areas. At least for starters. I don't know. Or maybe that's just an example. There's going to be more than that. Master cards and charms by winning runs and customize your starting deck. I was wondering about customization. Well, there we go. I beat it. Yeah, it seems like you need more single target DPS. I don't know. Multi target DPS is pretty solid, though, sometimes. But, uh, yeah, that was card directors. Actually, like the first run, I wasn't so sure. Second run, I'm starting to get a feel for it. It's kind of a game where there's not an exact science to figuring out the time where you just kind of get a feel for it as you go. And it, yeah, I actually kind of like that. Wouldn't mind playing the full release actually when it when it eventually comes around. Um, as said before, though, this just this did just have its Steam page release. It's not out yet, but uh, you can now wishlist it. So it would help the developer immensely if you guys would wishlist it. I will provide a direct link in the chat, in fact, because that's always a good way of doing it, too. Uh, here's a direct link to you guys, if you want to wishlist it yourselves. Uh, I apologize again to the developer, who asked me to basically uh, review this. Uh, he asked me to stream it la uh, last week, because apparently with the way the Steam algorithm works, when a game first arrives with its Steam page on the workshop, or on the, on the Steam store page, apparently that is, like... The first week of that is like the time where attention is given to a new game on the store. So basically he wanted me to review it last week to hit that window. I wasn't able to do so due to health problems, but I, I at least I got it to this week. So <laughs> uh, yeah, go check it out. Go wishlist it. Go help him out. Uh, there's apparently a Discord as well you can check out, probably from the Steam page as well. Uh, and I don't know how much he's going to charge for it, but this seems pretty solid, and I'm honestly interested to see what he does for more of the 3D models and such, because the characters are quite cute. But anyways, that was Card Corruptors, a furry deck-building roguelike made by a furry dev. Go support furry development, guys. It's always uh, nice to see furry devs and it making legitimate products like this. It's a lot of fun. <laughs>